On this exhilarating episode of Undercover Boss, the CEO of Fast Signs International, America's leading custom sign company, steps out of the boardroom and into the frontline trenches. As she immerses herself in the challenging field, she realizes that it's no piece of cake. Brace yourselves for an emotional turn of events that will leave both her and her employees astonished. Stay with us to find out how things unfold on this episode of Undercover Boss. Headquartered in Carlton, Texas, Fast Science International is the industry leader in custom science and graphic solutions, and with 530 locations worldwide, Fast Science has an annual revenue of more than $300 million. And overseeing the 4,000 employees is president and CEO of the company, Catherine Monson. Fast Science was founded by two men in Texas in 1985, and Catherine joined the company in 2009 in the depth of the recession and have led the company to success. Catherine was born in Washington, DC and moved to California when she was three. She's the oldest of four siblings, and her mother was an alcoholic who didn't really treat her and her siblings very well and even got violent with them sometimes. Catherine recounts a day when her mother took a big glass and broke it on Catherine's forehead, and after a very big cut, she had to be rushed to the hospital. After that, things only got worse as the family went to court and got a restraining order, and their mother went to a public park and offed herself. Catherine has developed this fear of becoming her mother, so she decided decided not to have kids and focus on her career. She's become very successful in that and now leads this giant company. Catherine will be going undercover as Lois, a recently divorced rocker chick that has a really hard time keeping a job. Her employees will be told that she's a contestant on a reality TV show called Second Chances, where people try to earn a second chance at a new career. For her first job, she travels to St. Louis to work as a site surveyor, and there she meets the site manager, Jen. She takes her to their first place, and while they were measuring the location for the poster, Catherine gets distracted by a cat, and this really annoys Jen, but she avoids saying anything to her. On a drive to their next site, they start to have a conversation, and Catherine learns that Jen has been working there for four years. Jen also says that the marketing material of the company is very bad and that they should change it, and this was new insight for Catherine, who plans to improve it. They arrive at a local gym, and Jen lets Catherine take the lead, and this time Catherine does all the work well, and they manage to get the contract. After work, they drive to a bowling alley so Jen can teach Catherine how to bowl, and we see Catherine trying to bowl, but she misses every shot. For her next job, Catherine travels to Austin, Texas to work in the production area. She meets with Sheldon, a sign maker, and he takes her through the factory and shows her how to make a sign. She again tries to do her best to follow, but the physically demanding job was very difficult for her. She also becomes aware of how bad she performed on this job, and she says that she's glad she doesn't have a bunch of people like her working in the company. As they work, she learns that Sheldon has been working for the company for 13 years, and he gives her his thought on how to improve the company. A fast signs, even even though a big company doesn't have a website people can order in, and that is making their competitors a more viable choice for the customers. Hearing Sheldon's thoughts, Catherine also takes his comments into consideration. The next day, Catherine flies to California and she will be working in installation, which might be the hardest job for her to do. She meets Gary and he makes an awkward joke about not expecting a woman to do this job, but she laughs it off and they move on. He shows her how to put a poster on the side of a car, and after helping with one poster, she was confident that she she can do it. But as she tries to do it herself, as expected, she starts to mess up. Gary helps her after seeing her struggle, and they do the first job together. After they drive to a work site, they start their job together, but Gary steps away for a phone call, and Catherine then continues to do the job alone, and even though she was trying really hard, she still messes up the poster. Gary notes that he wouldn't hire her and recommends a desk job. During their break, Catherine learns a little more about Gary's personal life, and he tells her that he's a father of three, and that he has to drive two and a half hours from home to work. He also reveals that when he was a teenager, he used to be part of a gang, and that he used to sell drugs, but after getting arrested and seeing his mother disappointed by him, he decided to change his life for the better, and since then, he's become a good father to his kids, and he gives back to his community, and helps others not to fall into a bad life like he did. Catherine is inspired by his story, and commends him for what he's accomplished, and Gary opens up more and tells her that he's getting evicted from his home, so soon, he might not even have a home. You actually lost the house today. You lost your house today? We got evicted today. For her final job, Catherine travels to Phoenix, Arizona. She is meeting up with a franchisee to work on a door installation, and she meets up with the franchise owner, Scott. 
He takes her on a crane so they can install a sign on a high wall, and this scares Catherine a lot, but she agrees to do it. They go up the crane and start drilling holes for the signs, and Scott drills a couple of holes before giving the drill to Catherine. She follows the instructions and does well, but she gets tired pretty quick. And so Scott takes back the drill and finishes the job, and they hang the signs together, which was easy enough for Catherine to do. During their work, Catherine sees that Scott is a hard worker who puts out 10 hour working days. But she finds out that he had to learn all the skills that he had on his own, even though the company should have trained him. They then talk about his personal life, and he tells her about his adopted daughter. Catherine gets emotional as she recounts choosing not to have kids and thinks that maybe it was a rash decision motivated by her fear of not becoming like her mom. After Scott, Catherine's undercover time comes to an end and she's learned a lot about her own company and about herself. She can confidently say that she's seen the good and the bad, and she plans to fix some of the problems she's noticed to help alleviate some of the problems the company and her employees face every day. Catherine invites her employees to a private club to finally reveal her true identity to them. First in was Sheldon, who did not recognize her at first, but was pleasantly surprised. Catherine recounts her day working with him, and even though she messed up multiple times, Sheldon didn't really give up on her and he was a great teacher. She also thanks him for bringing up the idea of having a website, and tells him that she's working on it, and she offers him to be one of the testers of the website, which he gracefully accepts. She then gives him $10,000 so he can have a vacation with his fiance, and she also offers him $50,000 to help with his fiance's medical bills who'd suffered with cancer, and they end their meeting with a very big hug. And next in was Jen, and Catherine reminds Jen of her comments about the marketing strategy being bad and tells her that they've come up with a new strategy which she will be able to see. She then gives her $10,000 so she can have a great vacation with her husband and another $20,000 so she can chase her dreams. Next in was Scott, and she tells him that she had a great day working with him and that she appreciates his hard work. She also promises to start a training program so that every franchisee can learn how to do the job well. She then gives Scott $10,000 to put into his daughter's college fund and another $15,000 to spend on him and his family. Scott, teary-eyed, thanks Catherine for what she did for him and his family. I think she's so Thank you. Thank you. It's incredible. Last in was Gary, and she tells him how inspiring his life was to her, and she tells him that she wants to give him the best opportunity possible to grow in his career, and she offers to bring him to their headquarters to train him so he can get a better job at the company. She then gives him $15,000 so he can help people in his community, and she also gives him a new car and another $50,000 so he and his family can afford a home. Gary breaks down crying and thanks her very much for her generosity. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> And after the very exciting encounter with her employees, Catherine has also learned something very valuable from them and she goes to spend the night with her family. And this is how this very heartwarming episode of Undercover Boss comes to an end.